The Baron will step down as head of House Harkonnen in the not-too-distant future, allowing Fade Rautha to succeed him as the rightful heir. He tells Fade that he wants to place a Harkonnen on the Imperial throne, making use of Hawat's intelligence to come up with a plan to defeat the Padisha Emperor. Baron Harkonnen also comments on the new religious leader among the freemen called Mwadib. Neither he nor Fade Rautha realize that it is Paul or just how much they are in peril right now. So, a little quick one there. I mean, we, we've all been there. You try to get your uncle murdered because he likes him young. Um, yeah, it's a, it was one of those things, like, the Baron is one of my favorite characters because he's just, like, in a world <laughs> where everybody's in very ambiguous. Like, the whole mm -hmm. part of the whole point of Dune is, like, there are different belief systems and those beliefs, what more, like, what is morality? What does morality mean? That is one of the big questions because right. a morality to uh, a city dweller and a desert dweller are completely different. Because, like, if I, if you break a leg and I'm, you know, a desert, a fair, fair oh, fuck, help me out, Faradin? Freeman. Freeman, thank you. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, if I break a leg and, like, I'm in the desert, your job is to shoot me in the face and walk on and take my, and take my water and go. Mm -hmm. Like, and a city dweller is like, or, you know, it, it, their whole morals is, are, you, you would lift and you would carry your brother. And there's mm -hmm. that great scene in the start of the book where a dude spits on the table and all the, everybody freaks out. And they're like, no, he just offered you his water. This is big. He offered you moisture. This is a yeah. huge uh, thing. And in all of that, the Baron is a scumbag. He's a scumbag through and mm -hmm. through. So I, I did not think about that, that in a book that's very moral relativism, like look at it from all sides, our villain is very much just like a fat snake, just like, man, man, man I want to eat little boy's penises. Yeah, he's just this disgusting fat snake robot and who like, <laughs> is, is like, it, it's, and it's gross because like, Frank, uh, I'm feeling a little homophobia here, a little bit. Just I'm, I, I taste it. I don't. It's on my tongue a little bit, uh, <laughs> but it's of it's, it's very of its time because like he's right. just and like and in a in a story where it's about desert and about like you're not just you. We're both of us who are you know we work out we look okay. We go on Dune. They're like you fucking drink water every day, weirdo. You look water fat like crazy. That's disgusting. <laughs> And then there's this dude who's just like this fat blob, a robot, and you're like, that's the bad guy. That one's definitely the bad guy. So, like, yeah. he's such a good, clear villain. It's, and, it's funny. I, I forget where I was talking about this. With, I think I was talking about this with Frank Neblett, of all people, the other day, about how um, one, of, one of the reasons for uh, homophobia, if you look back to, like, tracks from, like, the 40s and 50s, one of the particular, like, perspectives people had on it is it wasn't even that people were gay it was like oh they're such sex fiends they need to fuck everything <laughs> so it was like it was like a, a a judgment on indulgence overall in which case you know water would very much come into this it would look like hedonistic and disgusting to be so wasteful that like you could become fat on water what the fuck is wrong with you yeah um and like that, yeah, that's a persistent thing. It's just like it's not, which is a weird dude thing, by the way. That's an us thing. It's like if I was gay, I'd be fucking all the time, which I I wouldn't. I'd still be me, weird loser who yeah. talks about Dune on a Saturday morning. But uh, 